Greetings from Verona, Italy. We just completed an amazing conference here at Destiny Christian Center. It was amazing. The power of God was moving. People were healed. And I just have a wonderful sister here, Sister Endurance. She has an amazing testimony. You should hear what God did, you know, through her faith and through our prayer. It's a powerful story. Hear this and be encouraged. Go ahead, take it from here. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Well, uh, like Pastor said, like Pastor said, my name is Endurance Onome Oyaisi. Well, uh, I want to talk about my father. How my father was healed through me yesterday, particularly. Well, my father has been having this cataract since 2011, and we've, we've made a very different medication way to make him get surgery. But when we go to one uh, hospital to the other, they keep telling us that he had to cure. A sickness that he had within him if not he's not going to work out or he, he, he can't be able to like go for the surgery so we we, we say okay let, let's just wait and see if he can care if we can if we can go through all the process that he asked him that the doctor asked him to go through if it's going to work out so i think that was uh, on monday last week monday i told my father called me called me started complaining again he said we well, like we've left him in darkness that is going blind so I had to like shut him up and say, okay, you just relax. I know God is going to do it. By Thursday, I'm going for a conference, which uh, so clinic, family, church organized in Verona, Italy. Yeah. So when I got, I checked him on Thursday. In the, I checked him into the hotel on Thursday. So he called me on Wednesday. So I told him I'll be checking in on Thursday. So. From there, he keeps, he keeps complaining that he can't see, as in the cataract has really affected his left side, you know. So I keep telling him that I should take it easy, that everything is going to work out, that I'm going to know I'm going to go, go from here. So, but he, he just keep complaining. So I just told him to like take it easy. So on Thursday, I, the man of God, told us to like, you know, maybe we should just pray anything that, maybe we have any sickness, any diseases, any problem about our family, about anything that is around us. So I keep praying. Sometimes I've been praying for my father because he's com and he complains, keeps getting at me. So I continue playing, praying about that same cataract that I just want that cataract to go off so that it will, it will stop complaining. So Thursday, Friday, then yesterday, which is Saturday, the man of God mentioned cataract that if we have anybody, any sickness, so I was just sitting there, I just said, God, this is the opportunity I'm going to use. I'm going to use myself as a prayer contact to my father. So I was just sitting there. I didn't even stand up. I was just sitting there. I had, to head, I had my eyes. So I was just praying. I was pleading the blood of Jesus that God should just touch my father right now as I'm praying. So I just, I believe because I did that through faith. So I believe that it's going to work. So just like that, I just, we just, I said prayer, everything went on. So when I got into the room, as we are still in the, in the hall, when the man of God was ministry, my father was calling me. That was after I realized, I checked my phone. I find out about five, six minutes called that he called me. But I don't know, I, I was kind of surprised. I was wondering, why is he calling me this continuously? I never knew he had something to tell me. So before we finished, it was very late, so I couldn't call him that yesterday night. So this morning, as I was just coming out of my my hotel room, he just called, he ringed my phone. So I picked it, it was my father. The first thing he told me, he said, endurance, I can see. That's what he told me. I said, glory be to God. So I just told him, come, I'm going to a, a Sunday morning service. So when I come back, I'm going to call you so that we'll talk about this. So when we finish in the morning for the morning section, so I went to my hotel room, I called him back. So he was not telling me that he can see very well through that same left eye that he said he cannot see at all because they heard it. They do take, he do, they, if, if, he wants to, if he wants to go out, they will have to hold his hand to, to see him to wherever he's going. But he said he can go, he can move around, he can do anything, he can even reach, he can, even, he can see things clearly with that same left eye that he has been complaining. And again, I prayed about him to stop drinking. He said to me this morning that he has stopped drinking permanently, that he's not going to touch anything at all again. So I give God the glory because I know God has really perfected his work in my father's life, in fact, in my family's life generally. So I thank God for this great miracle. And I thank God, I thank Pastor Emmanuel, I thank Sister Mary, and my Pastor Marian, and I thank Dr. Pastor 
girl pair and the wife like pair. So because uh, I can't, I'm so overjoyed. I can't, I don't know what to say. But I just thank God for everything. And I say, may God bless you, sir, and for the. For the, for, the, for the blessing and everything you brought to our church in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, now yeah. people need to understand we are in Verona, Italy, and your father mm. is in Nigeria. Yes, my in father Benin. is in Benin. In Benin so, residing. This is, he's in a yeah. different country, thousands Some of miles, miles away. away yes. And I was mm. praying for the sick here in Verona, Italy, yeah. and you position yourself as a point of contact. Exactly. That's believing God that the power in the meeting yeah. was going to touch your father yeah. at a different location. Exactly. And that's exactly what, what happened. happened. Yes. I'm reminded of the centurion that came to see uh, Jesus because his servant was ill. Yeah. And Jesus said, I will go to your house. And the man said, I'm not worthy that you should come to my house. Only say a word and my servant will be healed. And that at that very hour, the servant was healed. Folks, there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. And words have power, presence, prophetic and spiritual implication with no geographical limitation. I mean, we're here in Verona, Italy, and we pray here at a healing service here, and somebody in Benin City in Nigeria was completely healed. The, the, the blind eye that was covered with a cataract was completely healed, and the man is healed and touched. You see, his daughter had faith, and she, she came into the meeting and put, up, put herself as a point of contact. And now this is a great opportunity for you that are watching right now whatever you're believing God for I want you to use this moment this is a holy moment where you can release your faith father I pray right now whatever their needs whatever they have a need for now whether it's a healing or financial miracle or relationship miracle I pray in the name of Jesus and I release I declare and release the power of God I say father release your power through media right now and release your healing and touch them in Jesus name hallelujah just say, I believe it and I receive it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I hope you were blessed by this video because I am encouraged by what God is doing in our ministry. I'm encouraged by this. My faith is stirred, and I'm believing God for you. God bless you. Until the next time, stay on fire for Jesus.